Welcome back to the homestead guys. Today on this beautiful Mother's Day, my wife requested that we finish and fully complete her pollinator bed. Let's get to work. We're moving some rocks. We actually decided we're gonna do the edge of this pollinator bed with some limestone that we already have on the property. So we had big old limestone rocks that um, bordered the edge of these uh, trees, these big black walnuts that we have on the front of our property. And so we're picking them up and we're gonna plant grass around here and be done with the kind of bedding around the trees. And we're moving all of the big limestone with the skid steer. We're gonna build our pollinator bud in front of the greenhouse, so let's get these rocks moved over and we'll show you what we're doing. It went like this. So I threw it and it went like this. Nice. Dab right in. All right, so we got our rocks over, and now we're gonna start layering or edging the side of our bed in. This is gonna be our bed right here, and then we're gonna have a uh, cattle panel sit right on the edge of the plastic so we don't, when we grow, grow plants, we don't smash up against that plastic. So we got lucky with these stones. Uh, a lot of these stones were, like I showed you, up around these trees, but they all actually got queried from the uh, creek down here. Actually, the whole house, the main, main part of our house is queried out of limestone, and a lot of these rocks, I assume, were done at the same time. Um, so they're nice and cut. I mean, someone chiseled them up and cut them, edged them out and everything, so they're pretty. So we got our edge on and our next step is going to be to take our soil over here our topsoil mix and then the last and then the last bit is our going to be our favorite part that's going to be putting some of our new plants into the ground which my wife is super excited about i don't think y'all have seen this either this is our this is our planted bed i showed you the bed it was already in here uh, but this is it planted so we got peppers on this side Maters on this side and they are absolutely loving the heat and this bed's been doing good I haven't seen a lot of yellowing in the plants. They look good and green and healthy So I'm excited for these to grow up and then We uh, we splurged the other day We went to a local lawn and garden shop and my wife said you can just buy me my Mother's Day presents early So we got a bunch of uh, stuff here We're gonna put a uh, hydrangea in what is this? Royal Rembrandt. Royal Rembrandt. It's beautiful. A little flower. These are kind of pretty yellow. Moonbeam. That's, what pretty, we got that's here? a blueberry bush. That's our blueberry that's going on the blue or that's the pretty. berry hill. That's a uh white what is wands. That? It's called Magic Show. Magic Show. Yeah, these are all perennials too, so they'll come back. Plant we're gonna put Those in back are there. The this one turns out beautiful when it bushes out. What is that one called? I don't know how you say it, Lobelia. 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 And then lavender right here. And then what's that back there? Is that that's rosemary? That, uh, that's oregano. I'm gonna I put it in the oregano. race beds. Okay. What's that? Oh, that belongs to So, and then we bought a rhododendron. We were actually on our way out of the store, trying to get out, and we couldn't escape without buying this rhododendron bush. It was absolutely stunning when we saw it. And, um, yeah, it looks nice and healthy. We're actually going to put this right in front of the nook, and we'll probably put that in at some point today. And that's going to be a beautiful addition to the nook area. Did you show them this one? Yeah, I did. All of these are going to go into that bed that we just built, and then we'll probably we're going to plant some sunflowers in there and some other things. This will be a nice area for some pollinators to hit up.
All right, so we got the cattle panel up, level. Now we're just organizing where everything is gonna go. And it's gonna be kind of sparse to start with just because we don't have a ton of plants. Um, but we'll come back and we'll fill in some of these gaps, landscape it up a little bit. So right here we have a lilac and then a hydrangea. And then some of these plants, I don't even know what they are. Babe, what are they? Uh, it's a Royal Rembrandt Spike Speedwell. Royal Rembrandt. This is a Lobelia. A Lobelia. Turn out beautiful. And then we have a lavender. What is this one back here, babe? Uh, it's similar to the other one. I don't know the name of it though. Magic Show White Wands. It's a perennial. Cool. Lavender. And then another lavender. And then, then this one. Moonbeam. Moonbeam. And then we already planted the rhododendron. We decided that it was going to go right here. It just looks, it adds so much to this bed. When you back up and you just look at it, it's nice, nice little addition. And then I'll grow decently big. So we're going to put it in front of the nook over here, but it just looks so good right there. We're going to, we're going to keep it in front of the greenhouse. All right, Story, do you want to help put it in here? Mm -hmm. This one? This lilac right here. Come here. You can help us put the lilac in the mm -hmm. hole. All right, Story's gonna help put this one in the ground. We almost oh. had American cheese. We had American cheese, but I didn't like it that much. So how is it almost if you actually did? <laughs> it's pop burn right there. Watch out. It's a no, we, a we mark her circle. And then we come back with the old shovel. Why with the old shovel? Can I help? Yeah. Do I do? Pull that plant out of the pot. You gotta stand it up straight and make sure it's gonna make it out of the ground. It's like right here. Look, there's a honeybee already right here. Really? Yeah. Oh, you need them on? Do you want your socks too? Yeah. Oh, I'll help you. We don't want it too deep. You're right. I'll be getting it out. Oh, is the tag on it? That's all right. We'll get it off. Which I'm okay with. That means we're not going to eat all of our stuff. Yeah. So, all right. So the potted plants are in. Looks awesome. So the last thing we'll do is, my wife has about how many different varieties? Of sunflowers? Yeah. Got about ten. I'm going to pick through them. So we'll plant a number of different uh, varieties of sunflowers and we'll put them along the back edge here. That's what the cattle panel's for. So when the sunflowers grow way up, we can kind of tie them back on that cattle panel so they don't fall over. All right, here it is. Happy Mother's Day, babe. Thank you. <laughs> so this is the end result. We missed my wife and Story uh, planting the sunflowers, but they got sunflowers in there. And they just watered everything in. Huh? Yeah, let's see what you planted. All right, so we planted the red sun. Red sun. Red sun. Hoppy black dye. Those are from Holly. Um, these are the mammoth ones. And what is the name of this one? Lemon queen. Lemon queens. Cool. So we planted a ton. So they planted those along the back line there, right in front of the cattle panel. As well, we added some rosemary herbs. that I rerooted. Some giant zinnias. <laughs> Um, two artichokes, Jerusalem artichokes. Jerusalem artichoke. We planted the oregano in here. There's the other Jerusalem artichoke. Cool. Zinnia. Thyme. And the lamb's ear that I say I've dug up. We harvested a lamb's ear on our walk the other day. All right, so that's it. Uh, no, that's not. Yeah, it is. That's how you plant a pollinator bed uh, or a big one. Yeah, we're gonna. The, the very last thing is we're gonna mulch the top of it to give it a good covering, and that's it. So I hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, the last thing we're gonna do today is we are actually gonna take one of the boulders that I brought down from the top of the hill, and we're gonna put it as the patio to the nook. So, babe, let's go find this boulder. There's a bunch over here, but one of these you can't have, and. It's this one. The one that I like? Yes, you can't have this one. Okay, so I'll act like I don't see it. This one we're gonna use as like a end ledge to a waterfall structure that we're doing over here. Oh, you can see the liner, yeah. The liner 
didn't work. I don't, yeah. So, yeah, enough said on that. The liner did not work, does not hold water. So, the last resort is we were gonna actually purchase a real liner. We found a company that will seam the right size and ship it and do all that for a really good price. So we're gonna go with them. It's just a matter of uh, getting the finances together to order it, but we're gonna do it soon. Yeah, different story, different video. Um, so where, where are you at, babe? You can't have those. You can have that one. Yeah, it's a little small, but you can have that one. Well, I really like the big one you said I can't you have. You can't have the big one. The big one? No. I mean, I guess I could put the big one over there for now. But then oh, if we ever have to right change it out. I told you that this one's big. Yeah, this is another big one over here. It's got character. Looks like a heart. That's it. It's all your choices. All right, I want to go ones. big or go home. All right, you right, want this one? Ahead. All right. She picked out this far one over here on the back end. So, got the clomper chompers on the uh, skid steer. We're going to drive over here and put this thing where it's supposed to be. there it is installed somewhat leveled we had to dig down on that right side because the door wasn't open and then we put mulch all around it looks good and I don't think y'all have seen the inside of the nook yet so let's, let's open it up and show them mr. bean open it up mm-hmm here's the nook we're gonna get rid of that monstrosity of the AC unit and we're just going to get one that mounts on the wall up here so it saves us some room but my wife decorated ended up painting the floor and put some decorations on the wall we got some um, armchairs on both sides and then obviously some stools over here for the uh, little bar seating so it's cool turned out beautiful all right that's it guys we're going to plant some potatoes and uh i mean hill we're gonna hill some potatoes and um we're gonna be done we're gonna eat blueberry something bush. we're gonna plant a berry bush blueberry bush today yeah, the dug. And we're gonna plant a blueberry bush but that's it for us today happy mother's day to all you mothers out there and we will see y'all in the next video thanks for watching